During the Victorian era, the making of hair wreaths was very popular. It was mostly a woman's craft, and you could order kits that would provide you with the structure, and then you would use hair from individual family members. Sometimes the hair could be from your living family members. Often they did memorial wreaths, where it was a common practice to snip a hair, a lock of hair from a loved one who had passed away. So if you look at any of the Victorian hair wreath artworks, what you'll see is a variety of hair colors. Over time, the hair is probably going to lose some of its color, so it may have had much more contrast initially. It was a very popular kind of commemorative art form. You would have been brushing your hair, grooming yourselves, and then you would put it in this small pot that you would have kept, right? The hair catch, yes, into this ceramic piece here, and you'd put your hair there, save it. But if you think about the hairstyles during the Victorian era, very large, up, upward swept hair, you could take the hair that came out when you brushed it and save it and use it to create filler for your own hair so that you could have a very full um, hairstyle. And hair, as you can imagine, was brushed often, not washed nearly as often, um, and was very, very long. And of course, during the Downton Abbey era, the hair starts to be bobbed, and that's a very dramatic change as well. So this is very much a look backward to an earlier age.